Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 to study the outer reaches of space and is now beyond the edge of the solar system. In their inaugural production, Teledyne relays and Teledyne coax switches provided discrete coaxial switches and matrices to the Voyager program as part of the communications package. Launched in 2006 when Pluto was still classified as a planet, the New Horizons spacecraft travels on its way to Pluto for a flyby in 2015. One of the instruments on board, called LISA, uses detectors built by Teledyne Imaging Sensors. These detectors allow spectral imaging of this dwarf planet and other cool, dark objects in the Cooper Belt. The Rosetta spacecraft was launched in 2004. This 10-year mission culminates in its rendezvous with a comet. Rosetta will perform the most comprehensive study of a comet ever. Its lander carries an instrument called SIVA, which features a Teledyne infrared array used for spectral imaging. That sensor will be used to analyze core samples that are taken from the comet to determine its makeup. The Curiosity rover famously landed on Mars on August 6, 2012, as part of the Mars Science Lab mission. Curiosity uses Teledyne DALSA sensors for hazard avoidance and navigation. Its power source, a radioisotope generator, was built by Teledyne Energy Systems. This exotic power source converts the heat of radioactive decay into electricity used to power the instruments and data and communication systems. Teledyne Microelectronics, Teledyne Relays, and Teledyne Impulse also supplied components for this high-profile mission. Meanwhile, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter continues to operate in Mars orbit. One of its instruments, CRISM, an imaging spectrometer, is used in surface characterization and understanding weather patterns on Mars. In the not-too-distant future, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope, an infrared successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Its giant 6.5 meter mirror will enable astronomers to see back in time to nearly the beginning of the universe. Teledyne provided the sensors for three of the four primary instruments Teledyne provided spectral sensors for the Moon Mineralogy Mapper that flew on the Indian Chandrayaan-1 mission in 2008. This sensor famously discovered that water is much more abundant on the Moon than previously thought. Incredibly, the Hubble Space Telescope has been continuously operating for nearly a quarter of a century. Three of the six instruments on Hubble use Teledyne sensors, and we provide all of the infrared capability. Nearby in Earth's orbit is the International Space Station. This remarkable giant laboratory, literally the size of a football field, began construction on orbit in 1998. Teledyne Brown Engineering in Huntsville supplied hardware components for 18 different space shuttle flights to the space station. These included scientific equipment, payload adapters, and various space structures. In 2015, Teledyne will launch the multi-user system for Earth sensing, also known as MUSES, to the space station. This is being developed under a cooperative agreement with NASA. This platform, which is owned by Teledyne, will host Earth-looking instruments that will collect data for various commercial and scientific purposes. The Wallops Island Flight Facility in Virginia is the site for a ground station that will communicate with the next generation weather and climate satellite called GOES-R. Teledyne Paradise Datacom built the high-power solid-state amplifiers that are used in the X-band satellite uplink system that enables operators to send commands to the spacecraft which is situated in a very high geostationary orbit some 24,000 miles up. Huntsville, Alabama and the Marshall Space Flight Center are home to NASA's Payload Operations Center. Teledyne employees conduct the science operations for the International Space Station from that facility, 24-7-365. For 14 straight years, 120,000 continuous hours, Teledyne has provided the timeline planning, astronaut payload training, software development, console operations, commanding, data management, and monitoring. Five miles away sits the headquarters of Teledyne Brown Engineering, which is the host for Teledyne's Science Support Center. 
From this site, engineers and planners will operate the Muses platform and its instruments, manage the data, and perform data analysis. This embryonic capability is perhaps the first step in a broader commercial space imaging business. Teledyne is truly everywhere you look.